U.S. Southern Command inaugurated an emergency operations center in partnership with the government of El Salvador in the town of Nejapa, Tuesday, May 15th. The facility, consisting of a two-story emergency operations center with an advanced communication suite, administrative offices, and a relief supplies warehouse, is the latest in a number of emergency operations center in the region, which are provided as humanitarian assistance projects coordinated by Southcom. The uh, government of El Salvador in about 2013 requested assistance from the U.S. Southcom to uh, build a building for Protección Civil that would consolidate uh, all of their requirements in one location because in 2001 their main uh, operations center got damaged by the 2001 earthquakes and also because of the mobility and the access to that location it made it difficult to respond quickly from that location. Mm -hmm. So what we, they decided to do is consolidate everything in one location, mm -hmm. have a warehouse, have a training center and have an emergency operations center in the same location that allowed them to have dual purpose uh, capabilities and the ability also to respond quickly to actual national crisis. Participants in the ribbon cutting ceremony included the President of the Republic of El Salvador, Salvador Sanchez Serén. My fellow Salvadorans, Throughout our nation, we depend on an organized structure like this one with the capacity to identify, analyze, prevent, control, and mitigate disasters and risks. This investment of more than $1.7 million is part of these preventative measures which will save lives in the future. It's a place that has the capabilities, the technology, and the ability to dispatch emergency personnel in the most efficient manner. The ceremony also included several other Salvadoran and U.S. government and military officials, including Southcom's J-79 director, Colombian Brigadier General Juan Forero. So it's very important for Southcom to be here and presenting these uh, installations for the Salvadorian a government and they're, they're going to have the opportunity to, to work here and they're going to be in better conditions. The facility will serve as the primary emergency operations center in this region of El Salvador and will provide training for first responders, synchronized communication capability for emergency personnel and will also store disaster relief supplies for rapid distribution by relief workers.